I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every Life with same. God is so good. And I'm thankful for living. We're so thankful, thankful that you're here with us and joining us on the show, Life yeah. with Gwen and Joe. Keep shining my light, living my life. Every day is the same. We see God in everything. I'm thankful for living. Together, we'd like to help you fall more in love with God. We're going to see all of our experiences, all the things that we do, and places we go, and people we hang with, and it is going to be something that helps us all focus more on God. And in the meantime, we're going to fall in love more with God, and our lives are going to be blessed. You're a thriver in dark seasons, a survivor. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Every day is the same. Welcome everyone. I'm Joe and this is my beautiful wife Gwen and we're here at the Feast of Harvest. It's also the name of Feast of Tabernacles, which is a just translate that to English, just Feast of Tents. It's an amazing time of year. The seasons are changing. It's changing from, from summer to fall. It's getting a little cooler here in Tennessee. We've got our, our hot cocoa and our hot coffee. Uh, people have come from all over the country to celebrate Feast of Harvest with us. It's an amazing time and I'm very, very excited. And uh, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Oh my word. And for those, uh, a lot of people know about harvest fall, harvest festivals, but you know, what we're talking about here was something ordained over 4,000 years ago by God through Moses. And it is incredible that God loves to party. What a festival, what a God. What a God that likes a party. What a God that likes good food. Creates smells, creates dancing creates music, creates laughter and jokes and fun and seeing each other that even if you're down and something's really getting you down, if you, you go and all you're thinking about is God and he's commanding you to smile and to be joyful and for his sake, like if he's saying, would you please just like drop everything for once and just like party with me? Could you please just party with me this one time and stop, you know, thinking about yourself and feeling sorry for yourself or whatever it may be. And I mean, he is like an awesome God that is so cool and uh, it's so fun. Brother, have we seen a party for the last seven days? Unbelievable, unbelievable. The church is full. We've got tents covering the whole That's right. acreage of the property. People are camping out. We're roasting hot dogs. The children are playing. They're face painting. They are doing four wheelers. They got bonfires going. They got pony rides. And uh, I tried to ride a pony, but uh, I was a little bit too big for that little guy. So <laughs> they kicked me out of that ride. <laughs> We're dancing. There's amazing testimonials from the adults and the youth. When you walked out there, there's this big concert going on, the youth band's playing, kids are on the hay rides, uh, and then they're, the food. The Feast of Tabernacles, it was a feast. So we have to give a shout out to the people who worked so hard to, to bring all this amazing food to these events. Uh, we love you guys for that. And then the kids love, a tradition that the Jewish people have is throwing candy out at this feast. It's called the Blissful Feast. It's called, you know, heaven for kids around here. That's what the children, it's their favorite festival. So the games, the balloons, the worship second to none. You need the palm branches and our musicians here that are continuing to come up with their songs. And uh, so we had several concerts. Amazing talent up on that stage. The orchestra was amazing. The children are now being trained up in under some incredible people. Seeing all those little guys up there playing the mandolin was a thrill. For their age, they're doing incredible. So we're really proud of them. But uh, I thought maybe I'd read a little bit out of the Bible where it talks about the Feast of Tabernacles. Absolutely. What do you think? Celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days after you have gathered the produce of your threshing floor and your wine press. Be joyful at your feast, you, your sons and daughters, your men servants, your maid servants, and the Levites, the aliens, the fatherless and the widows who live in your towns. Isn't that beautiful? So They're, be joyful. God commanding us 
to be joyful is the one of the most thrilling things about his personality, that he loves slumber parties. He's the one that, I mean, everybody likes to get out and go camping in the tent, and he knows that, and so how fun that is. And that was the theme for this week during this Feast of Harvest, nothing but joy, right? Nothing but joy. Everybody was walking around saying, nothing but joy, and pointing to God, and it was, it was really amazing, and I think that uh, going with what you said, God, God wants us to be joyful, and he actually talks about it in the Bible, uh, expecting us to have that joy right. uh, in his name, right? So out of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verses 10 and 12, it says, uh, Nehemiah said, go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks, which we did, and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is sacred to our Lord. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Then all the people went away to eat and drink, to send portions of food and to celebrate with great joy, because they now understood the word that had been made known to them. So the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so, you know, the, it's a command. Uh, he told them not to grieve, so obviously you can turn that off. And he told them to be joyful. That means we have the capacity to turn that on. And so that was re-emphasized over and over the entire weekend is that these things are a choice. And we love being joyful. Who doesn't like it? I mean, everybody likes people that are dancing and having fun and enjoying each other. The biggest thing about the entire thing is fellowship. At the new members event that uh, kicked it off on Thursday, we had um, all these new members and then out-of-towners, and that night was exquisite with lots of hugging, mm. lots of love, reunion. It was a reunion time. Like, this is We are family, so this is a family reunion and then getting to see each other and uh, the children were all getting together and getting to be together that night. And so it was the youth jamboree, all the stuff that they were doing. It's all so unifying, isn't it? I'm here to tell you as, as a personal uh, part of my testimony is in the beginning, I, I, I actually might have questioned those things, but it is real. These people love each other that much. And the brotherhood and the sisterhood and the commonality of belief in, in Christ brings people together in a way that almost transcends human understanding. But it's real and you feel it deep inside your heart. And I'm very thankful for that. When you hang out with, with joyful people in a joyous environment, uh, I always find it really amazing how, how God designed our hearts to, to the fellowship of, of those scenarios can literally bring you from, from a place of, of despair to a place of being so thankful and joyful, that's right. and, and I, I physically witnessed that during this period, uh, and that's that's really a testimony to, to, to what, what it says in the Bible about getting together and being united as a group in joy, and that was the theme of our week, nothing but nothing joy. Nothing but joy, as you look out over the crowds, oh my word, look at their faces, look at the happy children, look at the happy faces on all these people, and look at the closeness of the children to each other and the closeness of the adults. Even though they may live far, far away, uh, there, there is an ability to have a unity in Christ that is so profound and healing. So everybody leaves out of there with this, this unity. It was there to worship God. The men were dancing, holding up the Torah because it's a celebration of the Torah. And uh, there's several elements on this that we discussed, but that's one of the most beautiful things is being able to uh, watch all these men getting in a circle, dancing, holding up God's Word, and uh, rejoicing over God's, God's Word. That's a, it's a sight to behold. And so I'm praying next year you guys can join us because it's, uh, you gotta experience this, it's so fun. It's literally the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life, and it's life changing. Um, so we invite anybody who hasn't experienced that to, to please come be with us and, and come, uh, come talk with Gwen. She's an amazing, amazing woman. You're amazing. And uh, I'm talk with Joe. Well, I just have so much respect for Gwen because she, she is the driving force behind all these things at church and celebrating these times and these events 
that oftentimes get overlooked or don't get talked about. So from penitence to praise, and on our feet with dancing and branches, we're now in the middle of seven days of lifting up holy hands high to God with nothing but joy. It's, it's really an amazing thing, and I feel so grateful and lucky to be, to be close to it like this. So uh, we invite you guys out to, to celebrate with us and to, to experience these festivals with us. And um, it's a life-changing thing. So um, we're praying for you that, you that you might come and experience it with us. So. Okay, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Love y'all. And nothing but joy. Nothing Let's but keep joy. Going. Praise God. Let's keep it going all year. I love it. Amen. I just wanted to, to, to remind you that I was more joyful than you were this week. I beg to differ. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Are we rolling? I'm going to uh, beat you back to the bonfire and to the fun and to no, the festival. No, you're not. No, you're not. So, One. I'm taking off quick. <laughs> Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video. Jesus,